Good morning. Hi, how are you doing? It's Jim. It's Saturday. Um, I have got a brief window of opportunity to get a short video done today. So it won't be sort of uh, sort of dream theatre-esque. It won't be any of these big, long pieces uh, or multiple listens that I want to do, sort of album stuff as well. So I've really got just like sort of five or ten minutes to quickly get something done. So that's really all I can do. So I'm doing something I've not listened to at all yet, uh, which is um, Ishan, or I, I... How do you say this? I san. Um so I've heard his singing because I heard him on um, uh, a leprous uh, song, uh, "Contaminate Me," live from the uh, Rockefeller Center. Uh, and at the time, I didn't realise he wasn't part of the band. And obviously, everyone in the comments then put me right and said, "Actually, he's the uh, the brother-in-law of the uh, lead singer and keyboard player from Leprous." Um, and he was kind of like just doing them a favour, being there on stage with them. So. There's he's been or oh, he yes I guess this is he I think he's called something else but um, this is his stage name um, has been recommended to me by quite a few people um, at many different times during the uh, the the life of the channel um, and uh, I know that he has a or had a band called Emperor which is um, held in high esteem highly regarded in the sort of the the black metal uh, community um and is quite important to what uh, the the genre i guess so um i know from how he sang on that leprous song how his singing is um so oh by the way hi got another camera um so i did use this on my last video but it was i did it was a very very sort of low key video and i didn't think it was going to get many views so i deliberately did it on there just to test it out if it all went horribly wrong it wouldn't get too many people wouldn't see it so hi how are you doing so the reason for having a second camera is i thought it would kind of just make things a little bit more interesting so you haven't just got this view of me all the time you've got this view of me and you can see me from the side how you doing so it just makes it a little bit more interesting give a bit more of a uh, uh, interesting experience for for you guys watching um so hope hope this is working out um hope the quality is okay onwards and upwards so let's do this this is uh ishan with a song called arcana imperi um or imperi uh taken from an album uh called ah what's the album called um i did have this up ready all right it's called it's called it's called That's my death metal growl. Our Amr. Amr. Yeah, so anyway, look. Enough of this. Three, two, one. Bosh. Quiet start. Love that riff. Bam, 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 bam. And now you have come to find the path to follow the unknown. This is the black, this is the night, this is your I like his clean vocal as well.
This is amazing. It is far too late. Very, very dark imagery you can use in this. Like the hellhound racing across the tundra. Feels quite demonic, in a in a in a in a, in a sort of way. It's uh, very very dark. Uh, amazing musicianship, uh, absolutely incredible. Um, so I don't know if there's a band uh, related with this or whether he's done everything himself. But that is just superb, absolutely amazing how that's played. Uh, I love the riffs in that though. Dam bat, bam bat, bam bat, bam bat, and then sort of like some really discordant jim 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 jim, and then he comes in. Ah, he's, uh, he's sort of some, sort of demonic, sort of satanic screams. Um, wow, what a what a what a what a piece. So I kind of knew it was going to be good, um, and if I if I take myself back. Um, 18 months, two years ago, no, certainly any other part of my life, I could not have given the time of day to this because I just couldn't get past that sort of singing. But because I've heard so much of it now, and it forms very much a part of this style of music that uh, that I'm listening to so much now through the channel, and I'm absolutely falling in love with it. I absolutely, I absolutely adore it. I just want to hear more and more and more of it. It makes sense. It's perfect. It's, it is it's right. It, and... What I love about this, and also about Opeth and and Devin and everybody else, is they can do the clean with the growls. So, so you've got the sort of the the sort of the the sort of the real sort of uh, discordant. Um, I don't want to call it dirty because it's the opposite of clean, but uh, you know what I mean. The sort of the the guttural uh, argh, sort of singing, mixing it up with the clean, you then show actually there is such a musicality to this that it is bringing both to the party and it then because you can have that the impact of the of the of the the, the growling is so much more so and it's also the same with pisces uh, the ginger song where she comes in and she's all sort of sweet and innocent and lovely and then sort of turns to this sort of uh, what the hell is this that's coming out of the speakers at me so the first time you hear that is absolutely incredible so yes amazing absolutely brilliant and uh I don't know what what he's trying to channel through this song, um, but it, I, I get the feeling it's a, a very, very sort of dark, sort of demonic imagery in there with the flames on the screen behind him, the 
dog, uh, sort, of, sort of like some sort of slathering beast from hell charging its way across the tundra, sort of tongue lolling and saliva flying, as a, um, almost. And uh, and then him sitting in the chair like that, uh, like a throne, almost like sort of the devil sitting there with his arms uh, astride and so sort of all in silhouette with the flames behind him is quite striking. Absolutely. I mean, I don't normally like to comment on the video. It's about music. But I think in this case, they go hand in hand. It's, it's, it's a part of the overall experience of this. He's a good guitarist. He's a very, very good guitarist. I, I like that. Um, I, and I really like what he's doing, that, that chord progression and stuff that he was doing. I had some sort of almost sort of, um, sort of feelings of sort of Devon Townsend um, type things going on in there. Um, you think about um, Higher, the Devon Townsend song, you have sort of bits where it goes from clean to really, really sort of unleashing the sort of the opening the gates of hell and sort of the, everything is spewing forth it's kind of had the same sort of feeling in this a little bit and then it goes to this sort of amazingly sort of then melodic up beat up beat up uh, positive sounding uh, uh, music uh, mixed in with it so overall really 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 good um, so this is uh, as I say from an album called um um AMR, how do you pronounce that? I really don't know. Um, which is quite, uh, quite, uh, quite modern, or quite, quite recent. Came out last year, two thousand eighteen. It is an old Norse word, apparently, for loathsome or black, and uh, according to Wikipedia, reflects the introspective nature of the songs therein. Um, so. Uh, there's a lot there to go at from his previous stuff. So solo albums, uh, starting out in 2006, there's uh, several there. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, so seven solo albums to listen to before we've even started on Emperor. Uh, and Thou Shalt Suffer. Mm, of course you shall. So there's loads of me to listen to. So if you think I should be listening to more of this, and I think I should, so you, you don't need to tell me I should or not, but uh, just give me a steer because um, I want to, I really, really, really want to listen to more of his stuff. Um, yeah. I guess not for everybody. It's not anybody's cup of tea. And I certainly know that not every video I do on here is for everybody's, uh, is everybody's cup of tea. So that's fine, you know. Hey, keep forgetting about you down there. How are you doing? Um, right, I'm going to leave it there because I'm running out of time. I've got stuff to do, baby to feed soon. And, um, you know, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim over and out.